Good evening. I'm Jennifer and this is A Country Life and tonight we, so Joseph, Peter, Maria and I are heading into the store. We have to do some shopping for actually three different things. First off, we're going to be shopping for all of like our just basic household supplies. So laundry soap, dish soap, toilet paper, toothpaste, that type of thing for the month of December. We also are going to purchase all of our baking supplies. I did pick up some baking supplies in November and so I do have a few things kind of set aside but there are a lot of things that I need to pick up so that I can basically I want to have it so that at any at any time during December that I want to make some Christmas cookies or Christmas breads I have everything that I need to do that and I don't have to be um taking a, an extra trip to the store. So we're going to do that. We also picked up a couple gift tags off of the snowflake tree at our library today and so we are going to make some purchases for that. If you're not familiar with a snowflake tree or an angel tree or a giving tree, whatever you might call it, basically what it is is somebody who is in need of a Christmas gift is they put their their gender and their age and then a couple different things that they are wishing for for Christmas onto a little tag. You pull it off the tree and then you make those purchases. Wherever you pulled the tag from, you just bring it back to that location. If that is something that is in your budget, it is a wonderful, wonderful thing to participate in. Uh, I know that there are a lot of people who are in need and um, it's just it's just a great way to uh, just kind of teach also the spirit of giving and I realized that today is actually what they call Giving Tuesday So it actually worked out pretty well. The other thing we need to do is purchase secret Santa gifts so in our family we draw names and So everyone is not buying every single person a gift and then what we do is we try to keep it a secret Right, right everybody yeah. <laughs> We do try to keep it a secret until um, Christmas and then we just exchange exchange gifts, right? Yep. So those are all the things that we're going to be doing tonight. Come along. I'm going to try to get a little bit of footage inside. We're actually at Walmart. Um, we're going to try to get some footage inside Walmart and then we'll go home and lay it all out and do a full haul for you guys. What do you think about something like this? What's that? Yes. Chocolate almond bark. This is for decorating a gingerbread family. Do you think she'd like that? Oh, I want to get that. You want to get that, huh? That would be a great idea. I Look think at you get that. The snow globe ones. Maybe she'd rather have the snow globes. Mom, okay. How about that tide right there, Joe? Beautiful. That's the one. Put it at the bottom of the cart, Muscle. maybe. Can you put it down? No, 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 not up there. Put it at the bottom. Will it fit? What the? I don't. I said don't. Please. You're gonna take that. Thank you. How about this one with the orange scent? Let's get two of those. Perfect. Well, we are loaded up. We're ready to go home. We were in there for exactly two hours. So it got me thinking, what is the longest that you have ever been in Walmart or that style of store, like a big Target superstore or a huge grocery store like Woodman's or Costco or something like that. I don't have those stores around me, but I know I hear about them. Anyway, yeah, leave that in the comments. Well, welcome back. It's been a little while. Actually, it's now just about lunchtime. I'm just reheating some um, like beef tips. It's actually venison tips for lunch here. And I'm going to film, show you the whole uh, shopping trip from last night. It was nine o'clock when we got home and I just thought, I don't want to film. It was dark in the house, getting the kids down to bed. And then, you know, we were just tired. <laughs> so let's start with the food. This food is specifically earmarked all for baking. I did buy some extras of different things in November that I wanted to have for Christmas baking and um, 
yeah, actually a lot of that stuff is already used. It's, it's amazing how quickly that can happen. Starting off, let's just get all the sugar out of the way. Four pounds of powdered sugar, six pounds of brown sugar, 10 pounds of granulated sugar. I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the recipes, I think, if I can remember everything that I have plans to make. I did already buy Rolos last month because I wanted to have them for making, or you melt them and put a little M&M on top, or you could put a pecan on top, that tastes really good, or or just a few little Christmas sprinkles. So I picked up the pretzels this time. Some more molasses because I do like to make molasses cookies. Just didn't want to run out of that. Oranges because I am going to make a whole bunch of cranberry bread and I need the zest of the orange as well as the orange juice. Joe is showing <laughs> the graham crackers. Sorry bud, these graham crackers are going to be for making peanut butter bonbons and so those are not going to be breakfast graham crackers. One of Warren's favorite Christmas cookies are chocolate crinkles. We don't put nuts or any anything else in ours, just <laughs> the simple chocolate crinkle. So this is the unsweetened baking chocolate for that. Here's the crunchy peanut butter for making the peanut butter bonbons. I did pick up some of the sugar in the raw. I looked for it a different year and I couldn't actually find it. I think they were actually sold out because I wanted to use this when I make my molasses cookies I wanted to be able to roll them in this kind of sugar I just thought it would give it just kind of an extra pretty appearance and that's why I bought that dry roasted and lightly salted almonds these will be used when I make my almond butter crunch maybe I'll have Emily over or maybe I'll give these to Emily and let her make it she does such a good job every year making that I did pick up this dark chocolate brownie I hope this is a brownie mix yes brownie mix because I found a little recipe I mean, it's not much of a recipe, honestly. It just uses convenience items. Yes, it's December 1st. You can put the star on there. You sure can. Where do you want to hang it up? We'll use a ribbon and hang it by that window out in the schoolroom. So it's really just a recipe that uses convenience items. You make little brownie cupcakes, little mini ones, and then you use a chocolate frosting, which is here somewhere and then a chocolate frosting. And then on top of that, you put some chopped pecans as well as a drizzle of caramel. Now, they were completely out of the Kraft Square caramels and I was thinking I would just pick up some caramel sauce for drizzling over Sundays and I forgot when we got back up to that part of the store. But anyway, I'll grab that. And then for that, I bought these little treat boats here because I thought wow. it would be so cute to wow. put six cool. or eight of those That's little cool. cupcakes in here, the little brownie cupcakes, and just give them as a little gift. Uh, it's not necessarily Christmassy, but in that's this, cool. it makes it look Christmassy. So anyway, that's my plan for that. Cool. Five pounds of butter. I already that's showed so you the frosting for this little wow. um, project. Two big containers of Crisco. It was actually less expensive to buy it in two smaller containers than the one huge one. One more can of pumpkin. I do want to make some harvest loaf as well. That's a family favorite. And then some sprinkles. So these blue sprinkles, green sugary sprinkles, this little mix of all the different Christmas colors, another straight red. The red and green sprinkles I will specifically use either on the tops of my bakery sugar cookies or on my butter cookies. So one of those recipes I'll make for Christmas this year and earmark those sugars for that. This I just thought was so pretty with the whites and the golds and then also another just variety pack. I picked up some vanilla. I went with the Watkins Pure Baking vanilla because I've used Watkins in the past and I do really really love it. I know that's one pure vanilla that I actually like and then I picked up two of these white barks. I'll be making something called winter bark. I believe that's a recipe that came out of a Martha Stewart magazine. I want to say something like 2006 or something like that. My sister-in-law first shared um, some of the candy with me and it was so good I asked for the recipe and she gave me a photocopy of a magazine clipping so anyway that's the, what that's going to be for and that has cashews in it and this Ghirardelli bittersweet chocolate and the almond bark is what that is for. What are you going to make Joe? Has make has chocolate chip cookies. I know you're going to help me make chocolate chip cookies and you know what instead of chocolate chips what if we put M&Ms on them? Yes. Yes? Actually, these Cookies. are just laying on the wrong Yum. spot of the store. 
and the other area Ten. were, and so I just picked them up quick, and then when we went to where they're supposed okay, to be, they were out. Cups. So only one Not bag this time. Some of these mint fudge flavored baking chunks, I normally get the Not Andy's sugar. mint little baking pieces. Again, Walmart was not carrying that this year, or at least not anywhere that I could find, but they did have the great value, so I picked those up. I have a cookie that I make I that I have sugar. to keep separate from everything else because <laughs> Warren does not like mint, and a couple times okay. he's accidentally been into one, and he's like, Let's what's see. this Christmas this cookie? <laughs> I'm like, that's what I like is mint sugar. and powdered sugar. Two more bags of chocolate chips, either for melting for the peanut butter bonbons. Okay. I could use the chocolate chips here for the harvest loaf. I have a lot of options and I do have Thank some more chocolate sugars. chips in the pantry as well. I also picked up three bags of the all-purpose unbleached flour. And that is everything food-wise other than a 60 count of regular white eggs at Walmart because actually two of our chickens now are molting so we're not getting quite as many eggs Quite honestly, today Maria went out and checked and we got one egg. So that is not sufficient for a family of six and for someone who likes to bake a lot. Moving on to the household supplies, I picked up seven of the toilet tissue that fits in our main bathroom. Some Dawn dishwashing detergent. What are those, Joe? How strawberries. Oh, strawberries. Actually, they're just Ziploc bags. The slider great value bags. Emily was telling me that the Aldi bags Bertha she bought takes. last time. Just a second. The Aldi bags she thought were very low quality. And so I thought, well, let's try the great value this time. Three tubes of toothpaste. We got Aquafresh Sensitive. Aim. Has pitters. 97 or 94 cents for that tube. And then some of the Colgate. Uh, mine. Yep, this is for you and Maria. Then the Colgate Kids toothpaste. Two jugs here of the Cascade. One four pack Oops. of Speed Stick regular deodorant. Uh, mine. Here is the floor shine that I love to use on our hardwood floor. And I am going to, since I just did the floor within the last, oh, it's been about like six That's days or so, yeah. I did the hardwood floor. I'm actually going to put another coat on it to really build it up. I just find that as, are you sneaking off with the M&Ms? Yeah. No, we're going to put those right Me back next here. Week. So this is a better spot to show you. So in our kitchen, where it just gets a lot of wear, I would say that a lot of the... Um, like polyurethane coating is off, especially if you look like over here and stuff. So that's why if I have a chance to put down two coats within a week or two of each other, it builds it up and just makes it a little more durable and it gives it just a nicer, uh, richer color. Another one of these coconut milk shampoos, a four pack, I think. Yes, a four pack of Kleenex with the lotion. We like these, especially this time of year when there's more colds and uh, gosh, even allergies, you know, when your nose is dripping so much, it's nice to have the softness. A Tide Sport. And then this is the Charmin Mega Charmin Essentials Strong. And then we did pick a couple names off of the giving tree at our library. And so um, I picked up this here, oh, the yeah. sparkle. I thought this was cute. Gingerbread. First we were gonna go with the gingerbread house, but then we saw these and I just thought, hey. For a 13-year-old girl, I just think she would probably have fun decorating cookies because, you know, who doesn't like to do that? Yeah. We also picked up some socks to go in her package yeah. and some little kitty yeah. slippers, two yeah. other pair of socks. Her, her, her tag said she wanted socks, so we are going to deliver. These little socks say BU, and then these, I thought, again, if you're 13 and in like seventh grade or something, those looked about right. This pink thermal Henley, I thought that was, or not Henley, but just this pink thermal. And then also this little fuzzy sweatshirt. It's like a quarter zip, fuzzy. It's got cute little pockets on it, super soft and fuzzy. I thought it'd be so warm. Wouldn't all of that just look so cute together? Okay. And then we also picked a tag for an adult man. And so he had asked for sweatshirt and lounge pants and then some winter wear. So we picked up some of these gloves here. Warren tried those on, thought they were nice, so I was glad. And then this hat here, I thought this was nice because it has that fleece lining, so it's super warm. Here's just a regular crew neck sweatshirt shirt and then a pair of lounge pants these are flannel lounge pants yeah. and we also for picked me? up a vest Mar yes. for me no no and then maria had suggested we do like a winter coat but 
you know, depending on if he has long arms or short arms, or it's really sometimes hard. And I feel like you like to try on a winter coat. So Maybe we picked this vest cold. up because it was just puffy. And yeah, when Warren saw it, he's like, yeah, that's really nice. So I'm hoping that those will be winners. So we did also pick up kitty litter and kitty food. I just didn't want to bring that in here for this. So that is everything from our grocery shopping and household shopping from last night. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, I will link a playlist of more of these household and shopping videos for you in the description box below. You guys have a fabulous December. I'll see you in the next time. <laughs> see you next time.